My new and improved Battle Royale Simulator, this time until there's only one left. I have a whole new system in place, so we're about to see Unification, Civil Wars, and a whole new way of war. We're simulating every month into each year, so the first three months we're going to war, then we're doing alliances and their ideology, and wars are really going to depend on this D20 here. We're jumping straight into it, which state is going to war first, which state is invading first, and it's going to be Virginia. And which way is Virginia invading? So Southwest. Now the reason for their capitals is that is exactly where we're going to lay the arrow. That looks like it's still North Carolina. I mean, it's close, but it looks like it's North Carolina. Now if they roll a 10 or higher, they're going to completely eliminate that state. They just barely did it. They ate all of North Carolina. If it was lower than 10 though, it's all going to depend on their number. If they got like a 5, they would take over half that state. If they got a 1, they would take almost nothing. So the first place has already been eliminated. Sorry, North Carolina. And that is January 2023 in this battle. Battle Royale. Let's see who's next. Now we have, well, I guess, I guess their brother went. Now it's time for the other sibling. What if they just completely take over Virginia? Well, they're going to war with Virginia, so we're going to see. There you go. From that capital, you can see, I mean, that is definitely going after Virginia. Let's see if West Virginia can completely take over Virginia, becoming the only Virginia. Do they drop the West in their name if that's what happens? A 10 or more allows them to completely take over. Ooh, okay, so they got a good amount. Like I said, a five would mean they take half the state. A four is meaning they're going to take about half, about half of their new stuff, I should say. Okay, well, West Virginia is still very firmly West Virginia. They just have parts of North Carolina and Western Western Virginia. Okay, so here's the third war of the quarter, or before we get into alliances, Maine. Now, where exactly is Maine going to go? Well, the only place they really can go. That's nice. <laughs> Convenient. They're definitely going after New Hampshire, of course. But do they take them over? Yes, they do. So it's a nice, thicker looking Maine. We now have our first alliance month. Now, alliances are not going to help with war. They're just going to make sure two states can't attack each other. So even if we select a state that's in an alliance and the arrow points to that alliance member, they're just going to go around them. It keeps teams until the very end. So who do we have? Who will be in this alliance? We are starting off with, wow, Pennsylvania. And Pennsylvania is becoming friends with who? A Virginia who just got a bunch of new... That's a smart move. Virginia got a little afraid of almost being killed off by their enemy, West Virginia, so they went out and got themselves a Pennsylvania ally. That was a genius geographical decision. Now to see exactly what ideology are these people following. Is that they're communists, baby. I like to think that these states were already communist. Um, we're just now discovering it. It's not like they just became friends and said, hey, you want to become communist? I mean, maybe they did that too. I don't know. So the communist Pennsylvania and Virginia team is on. We're starting a new quarter this time the war starts in Alabama my birth state let's go who are we going to attack I'm hoping okay it's of course it's kind of our sister nation Mississippi I'm sure we've always wanted to do this at some point and just how powerful will that be it was close we almost took them out I'm gonna kind of just leave them with basically just their capital at this point which I don't know that looks nice I guess we now just have like a city state Mississippi next invasion is coming from which state it's going to be Washington Let's see what's going on in the Pacific. And Washington is deciding to attack Oregon. Surprise, surprise. They want to form a unified Cascadia, I guess. And how powerful will it be? Another 13s. That wipes them out. I'm sure there's people that's going to ask, why did I make the number 10 or above to completely annex another state? We're doing a battle royale. We have to we have to keep things moving. <laughs> if we make it too hard to eliminate other states, then it's we're never going to finish this game. It is now July, the final war for this quarter. Why am I saying quarter? It's actually a third. And it's in Idaho, so they're seeing what's going on going on in Washington and again they want to do some repercussions but will they actually attack Washington that's to see no it looks like they're attacking Montana so that arrow looks just barely right there into Montana territory but how powerful will that attack be it's a six not bad it's powerful enough that Montana is actually gonna have to move their capital they're gonna have to go somewhere right there to six so five would be half so they they're taking over a little bit more than half this is Idaho's response to Washington just completely annexing Oregon I guess so we now have a civil war war, which state's going to break apart, and how bad will that civil war be? Because we're going to roll the dice for that as well. So who is the unlucky state here, or maybe lucky if you want certain states to come back, which is possible. Oh, it's Ohio. I should have known. Now, how bad is this civil war going to be? It's not horrible. A 10 would be half the state, so it's taking over almost half. I'm going to allow them to keep their capital, but they're losing all this. Oh no, we have an east and west Ohio. One was already enough. All right, here we go. The final three wars. I'm also adding east Ohio to the wheel. They 
can do things. We're also adding a new capital to the map since Ohio kept their capital of Columbus. The East Ohio Revolt would obviously come out of Cleveland. This is now their new capital so they can do their own things. This is going to make things fascinating. Next invasion is coming from, it's Indiana, so in that region. Oh man, are they going to capitalize off the Civil War happening? No. Indiana is clearly attacking a Michigan up this way. Oof, it's only a two. Well, this is embarrassing, Indiana. It's not quite as bad as a one, but it might as well be. Well, you tried, Indiana. All right, we got Nebraska. I really need to get my words right or else I'm going to confuse myself again. And Nebraska is going out west. What it looks like is Wyoming. There's only half a million people here. How good of a fight can they put up in this invasion? Apparently nothing at all because they just rolled in an 11. Goodbye, Wyoming. It was nice seeing you there. This is weird. There's two places with uh, similar colors next to each other, but that's fine. The final war of the year, it's coming from Oklahoma. I like how regional some of these are. Feels like once we focus on one place, uh, like a neighboring state does something. Oklahoma is attacking Texas. If their capital is there, that is definitely Texas. Oh man, are they going to eliminate Texas? No, but they are going to come really close. Texas has been pushed back to just their coast. Maybe a little bit more. It's a seven. They still get Austin, uh, even though they probably don't even really want that. The final action of 2023, we have unification. So one place is going to start the unification. What country begins the unification process? And it's going to be Ohio in the middle of a civil war. Wait, they actually might be able to fix their civil war if they unify with East Ohio right now. No, they are not. Ohio is, they are unifying with Michigan, their longtime rival. You get into one civil war and they're like, Michigan, please help. Now, I'm going to allow them to keep their capital since it is just a unification. I'm going to imagine they're probably the lower partner in the unification. They're going to lose these borders, though. So maybe Michigan can kind of come help them out. I'm actually going to kind of just give them like a baby star. They're still here. They're just, uh, it's a, it's a baby star. It's a baby. Okay, it is now 2024. We're entering a new year. The first war, and we have Tennessee. Tennessee, I love the landlocked states. They can really attack anywhere. Tennessee is attacking an already bigger than normal Alabama. And it's a pretty good chunk for five would have been half their territory. They're taking a little bit less than a half. I'm going to allow Alabama to keep their coast. Okay, Mississippi now would attack Tennessee, if anything. Oh boy, we've got some movement out of East Ohio. What is Cleveland going to do with their new territory? Oh boy, Cleveland is going to attempt to fight Michigan. Uh, Michigan slash Ohio. It's a Michigan-Ohio union. And East Ohio is about to just completely eliminate them. Oh no. So they're also getting the Upper Peninsula. Uh, we can just eliminate those. Things. Okay, the first union already gone. This is really just if Ohio eliminated Michigan and moved their capital to Cleveland. That's all this is, but whatever. So Michigan's no longer with us. We're going to delete them. Third and final war of this third of the year, the first half a third of the year. Louisiana. Louisiana is looking. Oh, I think they might be trying to eliminate a very weak Mississippi. Or wait, no. Uh, that's actually kind of, What even is that? That is extremely close. I'm trying to. Okay, yeah, that's that. They're going after Alabama. And they are completely. Oh, man. They pretty much G worded Alabama. And 18? They killed every single, almost every single Alabamian out there. There's only like a couple like that are just left to, I don't know, they're just prisoners of war so the people from Louisiana can laugh at them. Yeah, the 18 is a pretty strong. Wow, Louisiana just smacked them. Already the states are looking interesting. We have another alliance going on too. So, alliance time. What is going on? Florida sending an alliance to somebody. Let's see exactly who Florida is sending their alliance to. It's Nevada, pretty far away. Floor Nev. Hopefully you guys like my writing. So that's the only problem is they're kind of far away. They're unlikely to ever be next to each other and, and kind of make use of. But at least we get some background information. Okay, more communists. Great, I have to draw this symbol again. You're not going to get a very pretty one. I don't know why exactly they... Uh, oh man, you're getting some really ugly ones. There's already kind of a ripple in communism, I guess, in the States. They're, it's kind of like China communism versus Soviet communism. Okay, wars for the second third of the year. We've got Louisiana. Once again, Louisiana's doing stuff. Ooh. Now Louisiana looks like they're attempting to take over Tennessee. And they're doing it. Oh, my. Another another complete decimation of a neighbor. Okay, so they kept Alabamian prisoners to laugh at them with the 18 uh, power level invasion on Alabama. Louisiana literally killed every single pe person in Tennessee. And they did it in, like, scary fashion. You know how uh, Paraguay lost 90% of their male population? Tennessee just lost 100% of all their population. That is what Louisiana just did to them. Louisiana is already a terrifying force on the map. I don't even like want to think about, okay, there's horrifying things happening in the deep south. <laughs> let's get out of there. We're not really, oh, it's Kentucky. How does Kentucky respond?
line to the most horrific invasion I've ever- Yeah, they're just gonna stay out of the south. They're going north. And they're looking like they're attacking East Ohio. Ooh, they almost completely took over East Ohio as well. So they pretty much just left East Ohio with nothing but Cleveland. Maybe this was just too much land for them to handle. It's a pretty scary Kentucky already. Here's the final war for this third. Coming out of Georgia. And Georgia's moving straight north. Is actually looking like they're going to be fighting Louisiana. They're not okay with the war crimes that Louisiana has done in Tennessee and Alabama. It's really close though. I mean, uh, are we going to use... Maybe it's not. Although this looks like it's slightly leaning left. Okay, they are fighting Louisiana here. And I guess Georgia just couldn't handle it. They have come in and invaded. Georgia was not okay with all these war crimes. Taking out Louisiana. I love how Mississippi's still around. We now have a civil war. Oh, it's from New Mexico. And how bad is this civil war going to be? Not too bad. Pretty normal looking civil war. I mean, as normal as civil wars can really go. Let's see how they handle that. I don't even know what state we're going to allow them to take as the capital. Silver City. Okay, that's uh, that's fine. How many people live in Silver City? Population of 10,000. Woo! Pretty much just like a United States version of China right here with all that population. Once again, we get movement from Kentucky. Kentucky is becoming kind of a big deal. They're going after a pretty strong West Virginia now, but how big will it be? Okay, not, not bad. West Virginia is going to be forced to move their capital. It's a big Kentucky, but also a big uh, Georgia. Only two more wars left for this year. It's Oklahoma. They just completely wipe out Texas. Is this the second war for Texas? No. Oklahoma's going in after Kansas, and they're completely wiping them out. Not a super horrifying war. It's not like what Louisiana was doing to Tennessee and Alabama. But now Oklahoma looks like a pretty big force. And last war for 2024, it's going to be Maryland. Finally, a smaller state. You got a smaller state, of course, moving west. Maryland looks like they're attacking DC. That's right. DC is in the game and they just barely okay What how do I even do that? <laughs> how do you take two away from DC? Okay, they're attacking exactly two pixels. Wow, look at that and then I'll connect the borders right there for them Woo! Look at that crazy border change by Maryland right there insane It's time for a unification and it's Connecticut who is Connecticut unifying with probably maybe Massachusetts or wait a second No, that is Connecticut definitely unifying with New York given their size. I'm assuming that Connecticut would be kind of the smaller partner here, but okay. This is kind of just fun little details added to that. Now, the good thing about the unifications is now this is going to allow New York and Connecticut to come up more often on the, the wheel, I guess, basically. They have more chances of attacking, gaining more land, doing more things. It's now 2025. Here we go. We've got our first war. It's Vermont. Again, more things in that part of the U.S. Are they going to immediately attack that unification or what? Now they're going south. Is that? That more looks like Massachusetts to me. So Bernie Sanders, I just am imagining him leading Vermont into a war against Massachusetts, and he won. That's the only thing I know about Vermont. Getting all that. Maybe they did some land reclamation project. That's why uh, the borders are whatever. Second War of 2025. It's Minnesota. What is the frozen wastelands of Minnesota going to be doing? Obviously, they're moving down south. It's too cold for them. It's definitely in Iowa. Oh, they just barely took them over. So it was close, but they did it. So Iowa was like basically backed up all the way to their capital, and it just got sieged out and barely collapsed to the Minnesotans. Not a very dominant victory for him, but a win's a win. Last war is coming from Utah, and they're moving in that direction, which is at a direction towards, I think that is the Nebraska territory. Yeah, that looks like Nebraska. And they've eliminated Nebraska from the game. Got some like weird stuff wrapping up around these borders. No more square. Wow, it's weird that Utah, they've just become more squarier. Now it's time for another alliance. Let's see if some of the old alliances grow. We still have alliance members around. It's Missouri. Missouri's allying to Georgia. Why not? What is the three letter? What is Georgia? Gore. It's not that, I know that's for sure. But that's pretty smart since they do border each other. That's going to keep Missouri safe. That was a genius move by these two. Actually, more by Missouri. Uh, Georgia just wanted a friend. Problem is that border, they probably weren't going to attack each other. But maybe the future of, you know, Georgia grows. Now, what exactly is going to be there? I don't even know why they have food. I, I forgot to mention, I have no idea why there's food. They are fascist. Well, what other fascist sign? I don't know if I really want to do this. You, I, you know what that is. I mean, I don't really know any... Okay, you, you, whatever. I'm just gonna kind of draw it vaguely. <laughs> All right, so there's now six states in alliances. Here we go. Here's this war. It's Utah again, and Utah's continuing to head out east. That is going after a Colorado, it looks like. Oh, and again, another really bad, uh, I don't, I, I don't want to say it, but let's just say Utah was doing some horrible things to the Coloradans. They've left like a thousand of them alive, maybe. I mean, I, if that, maybe they're throwing them in, like, into, like, they're doing some, I don't know. There's definitely some, like, uh, work camps inside of the, uh, Rocky Mountains. 
Texas. What are these Utah borders? Another war? It's South Dakota now. Are they gonna attack their brother to the north? It's close. Yeah, that's still North Dakota. Okay, war for the Dakotas. And the war is close, but not all, all it's not done. I'm gonna allow them to keep their capital, but they're losing a lot. There you go. Third war for the second third, and it's Maryland. So they just got completely embarrassed by Washington, D.C. They don't want none of that anymore. <laughs> Maryland has decided to go in the exact opposite direction after they were just completely embarrassed. It's gonna be so funny if they suck again here. No? Okay, they actually got a war done. Uh, they were more successful. Okay. Finally, we've eliminated the horrific borders that is uh, Delaware. Time for a civil war. Who is the unlucky country now? Ooh, it's gonna be Maine. And oh, that was a huge civil war. So much that they're pretty much, again, just left with only their capital. I'm gonna assume this civil war is probably coming out of Massachusetts since they had all of that. That's the biggest city in this region too. So there we go. We got a return of Massachusetts. I was gonna say the mass hole. Never used that word in my life. It's wartime. It's Indiana again. Remember, Indiana attacked Michigan just barely. It was actually kind of embarrassing for them as well. It's time they're going after Illinois. Let's see if they do that. And there you go. So some states are getting redeemed. Completely eliminated right there. Okay, so here's Connecticut. They are a part of an alliance. So they'll be attacking from the Connecticut side. This is how New York benefits. You see, they're not going to be attacking New York. We're going to just ignore that territory. So it looks like Connecticut, from their capital, is attacking New Jersey. And they've completely wiped out New Jersey. Just going to kind of blank that all out. Okay, beautiful. New York's really benefiting now from this alliance. Or the Union. Sorry, it's not an alliance, but whatever. It kind of is an alliance in a way. Last war of the year. And Georgia's making some moves. Maybe they'll get make use of their alliance now. They're going down south. Now they're attacking Florida. Communist Florida, by the way. Oh, it's an ideological battle. Fascism versus communism. Of course, they can't be too close to a communist. This is like World War II. And to 15. Boom. Just eliminated them. That means Nevada just lost an ally. Again, this is still a very scary Missouri. Sorry. I, I get confused. It's not Missouri. It's Georgia, but they're allied to Missouri. Let's control a lot of territory from uh, not too many Alabamians. They control Alabama and Tennessee, but there's not very many population there because of what Louisiana did to them. Weird that Missouri, this fascist nation, had to come in and stop whatever Louisiana was doing. I don't know. Okay, it's time for the unification. Who will start the union process? Oh, I thought New York was going to get another one. No, it's South Dakota. They just unify with the rest of North Dakota. No, they're moving down. South Dakota is unifying with Utah. But again, since they are smaller, they're going to be not getting, you know, they're going to be the lesser partner here in my eyes. And again, Utah just gets even bigger. It's 2026. First war. How does Idaho respond? Okay, uh, so that is them now attacking Utah. Let's see what happens. Do they make a big impact here? Yes, they do. Eliminated them along with their ally or their unification buddy. Second war. Okay, it's going to be Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania has some options, but they've got a lot going on. This is definitely against New York and Connecticut, the New York-Connecticut Union. So remember, Pennsylvania is allied to Virginia and they're communists, and it was just barely enough to take them over. So that union did not last very long at all. They're still kind of far away to take, I mean, they're not really able to take advantage of the alliance just yet, but they're close. Mississippi, isn't Mississippi dead? No, Mississippi's not dead. I completely forget we still have a Mississippi here. Mississippi is going after, and they're trying to take some of their stuff back. They're going after the fascist Georgia Empire, and they took back quite a bit. Not all of it, but a lot. Oh man, now Missouri's farther away from their buddy. Let's see, let's not call it a comeback yet, though. It's alliance time. California gonna finally do something? No. It's Texas, and who is Texas allying to exactly? It's gonna be Vermont. All the way over here. Interesting choice there, Texas. Well, I mean, every Everyone needs some sort of a friend, I guess. Again, the food thing. I have no idea why there's food there, but uh, it's pretty funny. Oh, wow. Very... Oh, they're communist. I don't know how that works. It's like lands in the middle, and then, yeah. We do not... Okay, we have a Texas, a communist Texas. So they're going to love that. The icons are getting less and less interesting. They're getting less good. There, there you go. I don't even know what the hell that is. It's South Carolina, but it's South... Wait, I can't... There is a South Carolina. They just haven't done anything. They're going after... It's not North. North Carolina's gone. They're, they're definitely going after Pencil... Or not Pennsylvania, Virginia. Yet, and they just wiped them out. So, well, I mean, the world didn't have, like, had a lot of communists anyways. Okay, that's gone now. It's Washington. Now, does Washington go after Idaho and all the movement that they've, yes, I think they do. Yeah, that's very firmly, like, capital on, uh, capital attacking here. And that's a very clear win. Wow. Just wiped all that out. This is a huge Washington empire that's formed from the Pacific. Finally, something, I didn't know what we were going to do about this. Uh, Hawaii, we, there is Puerto Rico. So, uh, Puerto Rico needs to attack, like, Florida or something. They can't go that way. They they can't go that way. They, I mean, I guess they could go that way. What is that, Texas? I'm going to say that's Texas. Or is that more of a Hawaii? Just make that a Hawaii, because I don't really even know at this point. Okay, they're taking over Hawaii. The islands have unified here. Oh, they just took over the all the water. That's a big island there. Civil War time. Got to delete some nations. Mass 
Oh wait, Mass? Well, Mass kind of came back. Now they're going through their own civil war. Mass came back through a civil war. What are the chances of that? How bad is this civil war going to be? So now there's, this is probably a civil war to bring back um, New Hampshire. That actually does make sense. Like the civil war and then there's other rebel groups coming out. I feel like that makes a lot of sense, but okay, there you go. Last three wars. Now what does Vermont do with all this? Vermont with their Texas alliance. Vermont is going after the, I, I actually think that's the new civil war area. And they immediately took that over. That's actually a really smart play by Vermont. Vermont immediately eliminated New Hampshire after they, the moment it decided to do its own thing. Okay, now what does Maine do? We're really focusing on that New England territory, I guess. All right, now what do they do with Massachusetts? Do they take everything back? That's the, oh, that's sad. Okay, well, you're gonna get like a little bit bigger, but not much. Wow, okay, nice. Final war, just realizing there's still a lot of places I need to delete from the wheel. Alaska's gonna finally do something. What exactly is Alaska gonna do? Now, do I go by the map? Okay, that's pretty much Hawaii, if you think about it from a world map perspective. This is Alaska basically attacking Hawaii and Puerto Rico, but it's sad, nothing happens. I'm gonna give them exactly like, okay, you can't even really tell the difference there. I should just give them one eye. One you get one island. And the final unification here, it's Minnesota, and they're going down south with a Missouri, which is actually pretty smart. I mean, technically, Minnesota has one extra territory. They've unified under fascism, I think. Okay, there you go. And you're now allied to Georgia. You've inherited the Georgia alliance, too. All right, so we're in the mid-game with about half as many states left. As you can see, I've reorganized the map a little bit because it was a disaster before. Let's just be real. A lot of those alliances have not survived so far. There's only two left. Uh, there's two fascist states and two communist ones. I guess you could say there's three since Missouri and Minnesota just combined. This is like a little union. And we're going to slow down the amount of civil wars that happen since as more time goes on, these places would more than likely get cores in some of these territories. So we're going to start to roll to decide if they get a civil war or not. So I've reorganized the spinner wheel because it was just a, like I said, it was a disaster. Alaska, what you going to do, Alaska? They're attacking Hawaii again. It's again on a globe directly down south of Alaska is Hawaii. So they got this island before. Now, they're technically attacking Hawaii, but they're really attacking Puerto Rico. And they were embarrassed the first time, but not this time. I changed Alaska's colors just so they wouldn't get confused with Puerto Rico's color. I guess there was no point in doing that because they're just wiping them all out. I really don't know what this blob is that I made. I'm just going to delete that. Okay, so Alaska has one control over all of the overseas territories on the map. It's just Alaska, Hawaii, and Puerto Rico that they have. Let's see what they decide to do next. Oh boy, East Ohio, or uh, Cleveland basically is what I was calling them. Okay, they can't attack that way. Oh boy. So they're basically going in after Kentucky and they're getting all that stuff back that they once had. So falls the Kentucky Fried Empire. Man, oh man, look at that red. They also got the Upper Peninsula back. So this is Ohio if you're rooting for Ohio, but it's also Cleveland-led Ohio. They just changed their capital. Oh man, I wanted to see what Washington DC was doing. Nope, we're seeing what Vermont is doing. A lot of chaos that's been going on in New England, but they're going south. Vermont is looking to attack a fellow communist nation, Pennsylvania lost their other communist friend. Communism on communism right here. Oh my goodness, and we have another annexation. There can be only one communist place, I guess. Now this is a Vermont with a Texas alliance as well. We need to keep that in mind. Okay, we need to, now the alliances will start to have an impact, but clearly in the beginning of the game, they didn't do much. Also, it's very likely that one of these alliances just begins to kind of form a faction, kind of. Oh, and then there you go, there's Nevada. Now Nevada did have a team, but they lost their Florida member since Georgia took them over. Okay, so who is Nevada? Nevada now teaming up with, uh, it's a very, very tiny Rhode Island. Wow, are you sure about that? It's just gonna be right there on the border, I guess. That alliance is really gonna be useless, but okay. Let's at least spin to see what ideology these two are following. Oh, not more communists. What is going on with these states? They honestly just can't get enough of this. You know, I'm realizing just how small places, like really tiny places have a huge advantage because they're less likely to be targeted. West Virginia, what is West Virginia gonna do? West Virginia, okay, they're going after Virginia again, but it's actually South Carolina basically. It's a 90. It's, just, it's a, it's really, I don't know how many jokes I can make about the, uh, the, the gens that are going on. Well, cleaning up these borders will be pretty easy because it's all the same color. We're just bam. All right. That's all West Virginia, baby. And West Virginia still has lost a lot of West Virginia, um, the state and they don't have their capital because they, they had to move that. That's now like East Ohio territory. I don't think Arkansas has done anything yet. So let's see what happens. They're moving West. They're moving West clearly after an Oklahoma. Let's see. All right. And it's just barely enough to take this 
them over. A lot of green in the middle of the country. Final war for this quarter. Now Alaska is going to do something. I don't really know how we are going to do Alaska because uh, what is that? Okay, I can't do that. I mean, they have a couple. Can Alaska go up? Alaska can really go only go in that direction. That's exactly yes. I don't know if I should. Again, I'm just assuming where Alaska is geographically put um so they're going after washington here and it's enough okay well just continues to snowball again there's kind of a problem with being a big massive place like this though because you can be attacked by so many different areas it's time for a civil war but like i said it might not actually go into a civil war let's see who's going to be the possibly unlucky state but i'm not sure it's minnesota over a 10 and the civil war is successful under a 10 and they stop the civil war they have stopped the civil war so that was a possibility basically that says to me that that was georgia thinking georgia Georgia, who is kind of the minor partner in this union, thinking, huh, do we really like this? Do we want to, you know, maybe escape for our freedom? If it was over 10, I would have given Georgia back their freedom, and they would have started a war against their overlords, Minnesota. So those cores are really going to change things now. Okay, we got Georgia. Georgia, who has all of the southeast, uh, can they? Yeah, they can attack there. They're going after West Virginia. So fascist Georgia with their friend Missouri. I mean, not that Missouri is really going to make a difference here. This is a big war. It's a nine. They nearly took out West Virginia, but it didn't happen. So they're going to get a big, big change chunk of this. I mean, they're basically unrecognizable. I'm going to have their capital almost completely encircled. So now fascism has really taken over a lot of the southeast. Meanwhile, I guess I'll, there's like communism pockets. A lot of the big territory doesn't have a, a like uh, ideology yet. Okay, Wisconsin hasn't done anything yet. Don't even know what to expect uh, from Cheeseland. They're moving south, it looks like, after Indiana. And that's a big old 16. It's a red nations here. So Wisconsin has Illinois and Indiana. Meanwhile, they're bordering East Ohio. Got to be careful. The final war for this year, and it's going to be West Virginia. Will West Virginia take everything back? It's so possible. See, that's the problem with those nines. Again, it, I mean, they really have no other choice. They have to reattack Georgia, and it is big enough. <laughs> Here we go. West Virginia gets their revenge. So this alliance is over. I don't know why I use that color. It's gone. Fascism is now gone. Their encirclement is also gone. It's a big, thick West Virginia. We have to redo. There, we lost so many that year. Final action for this year. We have a big unification. And these unifications get huger and huger. Wisconsin's going to make another move. And Wisconsin is going to unify to the southwest. So that is another. Now, I don't really know. This is becoming more of a united kingdom, in a sense. I don't really know who. I'm going to say they're adopting. They're all adopting fascism, for sure. they got to keep their ideology. Since Minnesota was already a bigger partner in a different union, I'm going to give them this, too. These unions really help because, again, the more times you pop up in the wheel, most of the time it's better, unless the Civil War pops up, but you can still get your way out of that. 2028, or at least I think it's 2028. We're getting down to almost the last 15. Finally, Rhode Island's doing something. Rhode Island is attacking pretty much the only person they can attack, and that is Vermont. They both have allies. Those don't really matter. Again, communism versus communism, and that is just barely enough. I guess you can keep your little icon up here. So their ally, Nevada, has got to really be loving this, even though they're still really far away. Second war to start the year. Is it really going to be Rhode Island again? No, it's Maryland, okay? Maryland's going to probably have to go out, uh, uh, west and they go in that direction i mean i i guess I, I yeah that actually does still work that's against west virginia the very big massive west virginia empire that is not going to be enough though what would a three be i would say maybe there comparatively to the rest of what west virginia has remember don't forget that dc is still there ready to cause some havoc okay very nice maryland it's rhode island again rhode island has a couple of choices but they're going to continue to go southwest rhode island is now going after maryland after they just attacked uh, west virginia and that's enough to wipe them out so i guess so many of the forces were down on the southern front clearly they were not protected uh for this or prepared for this the u.s is small state doing pretty good although they fully encompass dc do not forget about dc which i'm very close to because it, I, I don't even know what that is there's no like star there it's now time for an alliance the, the alliances i don't even know what's going to happen because the alliances are so okay well maine is a smaller place okay who is maine allying to it could be good if it was the right now if that was a uh, rhode island that would be crazy maine and arkansas an ideology. What do we got? Finally, monarchy. It's too bad because I don't know how long this ideology is really going to last, but I will try. I mean, maybe a union can save them. Save the ideology, that is. So now we actually have fascists, communists, and monarchists in this world. Finally, Silver City is going to do something. These, like, uprisings have a... Okay, they're trying to take over the rest of New Mexico, which seems appropriate. You should probably do that. Once again, um, it's still New Mexico, just the capital's changed. Like, East Ohio. This is now West... Uh, uh, 
uh, basically West New Mexico, North Southwest Mexico. I like that name kind of. Okay, well, almost down to the final 10. West Virginia again. What's West Virginia want to do? Oh no, don't take out the mon- Oh wait, I don't even know. What really is that? I, I think if you put that right at the center, yeah, that that's still unfortunately uh, Mississippi. Who oh, this is this might be a bit bad for Mississippi, man. West Virginia is really trying to unify the Deep South. They didn't, but they were close. They're getting a really nice chunk bitten out of them. West Virginia just keeps going and going. It's still anyone's game at this point. Is California finally going to do something? No, Nevada is going to do something. Well, maybe uh, Nevada is going to kill California. Uh, well, there's a chance. They finally have a chance. Communism coming into California. They might welcome that, perhaps. Oh, I guess they did. Well, we can finally get rid of this state. Big communist stronghold now in the West. Possibility for a civil war now. Maine through another civil war? Can Maine even handle a civil war? They're monarchists now and they're having a- maybe this is why they're possibly gonna have a civil war. And yes, that's a pretty big civil- I don't even- how am I supposed to draw this? How many civil wars can you have, Maine? I don't even know like what to- I guess- I guess that. You're gonna take their islands. I don't know what to call this. This is just gonna be Maine too, I guess. That's just a complete mess over there. I don't even know what to begin to think. Uh, Missouri. Missouri's a lesser partner, but they're taking the whole union into a war, and they're doing it against- I mean, we're using- since it was Missouri, the lesser partner in this union, and so we're using their capital. They're going after Arkansas. And that is a dominating victory there. So this fascist uh, union here is really a force of nature. This is, again, why some of those unions are really powerful. Look at them just dominate the center of the country. Let's also not forget Texas is still here. They have so many opportunities to possibly... Okay, it's Rhode Island. To continue to fight, too. As long as they don't get those uh, those wars. Are they? Are you going to clean up Maine? Please clean up Maine. They look to... You know what? They are attacking Maine. That arrow does look like it's... Probably attacking the original Maine. Oh, wow. <laughs> they completely dominated them. Well, it's fine, Maine. You still have Maine, too. So, you know, that's that's good. Arkansas doesn't even exist anymore. So, it's not like you had an alliance. Wait, no, Arkansas. Sorry. I was... Wait. I think I was just heavily confused. I don't even want to know how many mistakes I've made so far. <laughs> it's definitely not the first. It's because the capitals have changed and it f freaks me out. Okay, that's that wasn't even supposed to be there. Things the alliances don't even have much of an impact anyways. There still is a Maine, too, though. Last war for the year. It's Wisconsin. Again, a less your partner in that union, but this is crazy. Wisconsin is here. Wisconsin, this is bringing this huge union into a war with the massive Alaskan Empire. And that is just barely enough to take them out. So fascism now really dominates a lot of the U.S. as well as all of this. And Puerto Rico. The union is really, really strong. But here's a chance for someone else, either, either for that union to get bigger or for someone else to start a strong union. <laughs> oh my goodness, no. Please, Maine, do. Why? Why? Who's gonna ally to Maine to? Uh, I guess it's Montana. Just the most useless thing ever. I really hope I remember this. Okay, so you're now a lesser partner. You're gonna get the black lesser star uh, thing. Montana, I don't... What? Whatever. Sorry, this is Montana. Okay, there you go. Montana. I think it's 2029. And it's Wisconsin. Wisconsin again. No one's gonna stop this union. Um, wait a second. Well, since it's Wisconsin and their capital, um, that's East Ohio. Oh, I kind of don't want you to take out East Ohio. Okay, they didn't, but they got close. At least we finally unified the up as it should be. So much fashion. This is a scary nation. Okay, now Missouri will do- Oh, that's again. Holy crap. Missouri again is attacking. Now what are they gonna do? Looks like they're going for Silver City or- or, um, southwest Mexico. And they are wiping them out. Okay, I kind of want to make their fascist symbol bigger. So everyone really knows what's going on here. Because there, yeah, there's there's nothing clearer than that. Just to make it really obvious. Oh, there is no Vermont, by the way, Texas. You lost. Oh, everyone loses their friends. Last war for the first third of this year. And it, I just, don't, I don't even, are there like, what? Okay, I actually don't even know if Minnesota can attack there. It looked like it could have possibly been, uh, well, they can't attack there. They especially already have a last. Okay, how many what what oh you can do that that that'd be to wipe out North Dakota Which might be kind of a good thing because I apparently get Montana and North Dakota confused This will be easy to clean out there. They've been pretty quiet give you a little bit of Canada territory, too I don't really know if an alliance can save the world, but let's see Actually, chances are really high actually that um, One of the uh, okay Boston, Massachusetts is gonna be in this alliance Chances are high one of the Union members gets in on this. Oh Boston, Massachusetts and Rhode Island That's a smart one. We finally gonna be able to make use. Okay, so Rhode Island and Boston, Massachusetts 
states. It's just these two. Also, that's also along with um, Nevada. So there's actually a faction going on here. Now, this is really just going to kind of just save... Well, Boston can now move around Nev uh, Rhode Island if they wanted to. Since they were already a part... They're now both communists. I have to try to figure out a symbol here. Remember, also this territory is... Oh, this is getting messy. This is also still Rhode Island right here. It's going to be crazy confusing. <laughs> I just, I don't even know what to expect anymore at this point. Like, what else? What? It, I mean, I guess I should say there's nothing else to expect. Okay, so they're now attacking the Alliance. Not that that's really going to help them that much. The moment these... Oh, and they just obliterate. They wanted to make an example out of them. They just took over all that and this weird foothold. And that was fascism eliminating a communist member. But all that Alliance stuff for nothing. Well, you can still be allied to Boston if that means anything to you, Nevada. <laughs> and Boston. Okay, what? whatever. We're actually down to like 10 nations, but there are more names here, obviously. Five Finally, Arizona does something. This is Arizona's chance to f maybe get something going, I guess. They're going to be attacking Nevada, basically, and they're just going to eliminate them. So again, communism struggles where they, I mean, there was a lot of uh, nations that adopted communism throughout this video, but they just couldn't keep it up. I really fear for Arizona as the fascism looms. That's war for this quarter. Now, the only thing that might hurt the massive union is uh, the civil war that's coming up. Maine 2, what really can Maine 2 at this, I mean, I don't know. Maine 2 here is attacking basically Boston. And that alliance is just very quickly disappeared immediately. Oh, that's right. That's also Montana slash Maine too. So there is still a union here that maybe could do something. It's very small right now. This is a complete mess. Weird foothold. I don't even know. This is a very interesting situation. A Hong Kong here in Maine. A Hong Kong territory. A weird port city. Remember that's Maine too, by the way. Okay, it's civil war. This is big. I don't know who this... I mean, again, you also have to... It needs to land on it. Okay, that's... That is... That's one of them. Okay, that is Missouri. Here we go. Will this break up? Ten or more, and it, it's going to work. And no. Wow. That was really the one thing that was going to save the world. This union of, of fascism still going. The last three wars of the year, Arizona is going to do something. Now, wait a second. Arizona has a chance to kill the union. Pretty much anything Arizona attacks is going to be, even that is, is Hawaii, basically. Arizona can destroy the union single-handedly right now. Will they be able to do it? No. They got close, though. I'm going to give them a nice big old chunk. Well, I mean, that's kind of a start, but the problem is it's very highly likely that Arizona is just going to get slapped at some point for trying that. There's three opportunities for one of those states to just go after them. Also gave Arizona uh, Hawaii as well and Alaska. Arizona's going again. Uh-oh. They're going again, and I mean, who else can they really go after? Well, they... I, I, I think that deserves a respin. That looked... It wasn't Montana. It was nothing. There is a chance they accidentally have to attack Montana. Nope. That's still definitely... Okay, so they have a second chance to destroy this empire. The massive union. And they still didn't do it. They are going to really hurt these guys though here. I'm gonna give them even more of that because that's a seven. There's still fascism in the population. Uh, maybe that's what this this is representing. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, we're gonna hit Arizona again. Will it be Arizona once again? No, but maybe East Ohio can get the job done. Where is East Ohio attacking? They are not attacking who I thought. Oh wait, yeah, they are. I forgot that the, the union, they do kind of surround them because they have all this territory. Will it be East Ohio? It will! They they got the job done. Finally, the menace that this union was has finally been taken out. They had such a huge advantage of everyone. They just kept attacking everybody. Who would have thought this East Ohio out here with the help of Arizona? They aren't in an alliance, but they might as well be. Fascism has been gone. There is just a monarchy pretty much left in Mississippi. Finally, unification time. What if it's just Arizona and East Ohio? Remember that there is one union still left, and that's Montana and uh, Maine too, right? Well, Arizona is in one. They're one of these members of these new... Now, this new Union's really going to be powerful. It's it's Maine 2? Yes, it is. And Maine 2 already had, so definitely this becomes the lesser partner. Very OP for them. Maine 2 over here with their capital that's, it looks like it's in the ocean pretty much. Pretty sure we're down to our final year. It's the year 2030. And this is where it's going to hurt. Montana's now attacking. Montana's attacking for the Union. There we go. They're attacking East Ohio. What happens? It is not enough. It is barely anything. It can survive for a little bit longer. I guess we don't really need these borders here anymore in Montana. The thing is, this is where things get really... That's a three-way union. There's only seven nations left on the field. Okay, West Virginia's gonna do something. I don't think they they can attack the union, can they? Did they border the union? I, maybe they do, actually. That is just barely attacking the edge there. That that works. Well, they're actually attacking East Ohio, unfortunately. I'm saying unfortunately, because these all these teams need to work together. It's a six. East Ohio stands. You don't really want to eliminate someone at this point. So now West Virginia has kind of got their capital back. They're gonna keep their capital there. Gotten all the way up here. Oh, boy, it's amazing. Maine too. Oh boy. Nothing's 
scary or Maine too. Once you say that, it just sounds so scary. Well, they're re now reattacking West Virginia, and I figured that was gonna happen. So West Virginia is done, so also this border now connects right there. Out with an old boss and in with a new. There's like there's now another three-way union that's causing all this chaos. Arizona, Montana, and Maine too. Will East Ohio, uh, Mississippi, and Texas, Texas who hasn't done anything here, be able to find something, do something? I don't know. The alliance could help, I guess. There it is, East Ohio. Maybe this is East Ohio's way of actually it's it's with Arizona. East Ohio and Arizona are now teaming up. That means they can't attack them anymore. They just totally put left these guys up to for to dry. They do not have an ideology yet. What are these four nations basically? There's only two, but what are they all going to adapt? Is it just gonna be a democracy? No, it's not. It can't ever be that. The US just gets plunged back into fascism. There you go. We put that right in the middle. And did these two small there is a chance. It's so possible. Uh well, East Ohio is now attacking. There is a chance one of these small places could win. I, there really is. So that arrow attacks. They can't attack their own person. They're in an alliance. It's a spin again. They pretty much have to go down. I just don't know which one they'll be attacking. Mississippi or Texas. Okay. Is that enough? Is that 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 yet? Yeah, I think that might be enough. They're attacking Mississippi. The only monarchist state. And it will be enough. Well, there goes Mississippi. It is just Texas versus the world right now. Or the states. That is all this is. It's just Texas left. I forgot that these guys are, I think, supposed to have that. So basically, basically. Basically, what needs to happen is Texas needs to get this. They have a one out of five chance. They have a 20% chance of getting the spinner. And then they have to kill someone. They have to do 10 out of 10 on somebody. Is it possible? Yes. Oh, okay. They did not. Now, Montana only has one really option. I don't. Is there really even a point to doing the spinner? That arrow does hit Texas anyways. But Montana to here. Okay. Now, if Texas survives, then maybe, then maybe they do. They do survive here. To survive is like a small circle right there. There's still a chance. There's still a chance. There is in this game still. They could also unify into it if they get to that point, or they just have to survive enough to get to the Civil War part. part. Main 2. Okay, there's no point in really doing the arrow. There's only one place for Main 2 to attack Texas, so here we go. Will Texas survive? No, oh, they did not. They, oh, it was so close, though. There really easily could have been a last second, like, insane moment that happened because the next thing was a civil war and the chances are the union might have broken up at that point there could have been massive civil war changing everything but no so technically the win it goes to all these nations the real winner is arizona since these other two were much smaller lesser partners everyone that got involved in the win and they all deserve a win but overall here's what it looks like nice job please subscribe if you want to see more of this even though i wanted to i just i my head almost exploded and big thanks to the patrons drew i'm your dad back with the milk look outside john denver luxenberg lover i can't sleep without drew's voice Aaron amateur archaeology carmel Norwal. frederick tiblin good old ryan inquisitor jack trade's annoying friend the reno is ten. best Robert ride e. the pie the if you hear this the i love you and why am i doing this